Music to my ears, food Friday, as we continue our very special In Your Town live broadcast in Batesburg, Leesville. And you cannot have a food Friday in Batesburg, Leesville without heading to Sheely's Barbecue. Super yummy. How many things are on that, that buffet out there? TK Kaminer, like a million? Uh, close. Pretty not, close. Not quite a million. <laughs> It's, I'll call it a million today. Of course, our Food Friday segment is brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. I'm ready to cook, although I don't see anything to, to, to cook. All right. I need you to step in the cooler and grab me two pans. We're going to do some chicken some, and chicken, some ribs. Chicken and ribs. It's going to be cold in here, guys. Come on in here. Woo! Look at this. Woo! It is chilly. This is it. This is the heartbeat. It's the middle where it all happens. Let me grab these two things. Good gracious. All right. All right, TK. I think we got the right stuff, right? Yes. Sir. Got some ribs right there and some chicken. All right, good enough. All I'm ready to go. I need you to glove up for me. Glove up. All right, hang on. Hello, doctor. You know it's going to be a good time when you hear that sound. All right. Okay, good enough. Now I'm ready to go. All right, let's cook. All right, what we're going to do. Oh, yep. I need you to put your little net on here. <laughs> we've got to net be it up, on, too. Be on the stage. All right, that's right. You do everything right here. Okay. Oh, this is su I feel like a lunch lady back in school, for <laughs> there real. There you go. That's good. All right. All right, here we go. We got some ribs in. Okay. What we do, we usually prep the ribs by rinsing them off, make sure there's no little bone fragments and stuff like okay, that. Okay, now where do you get these ribs? These ribs come from U.S. Foods. Okay. This is good. So, so when you prep them, so if I'm going to do this at home and get some, a rack of ribs, you want to rinse them down. What does rinsing them down do? It gets the bones away and it's stuff? It's like little bone fragments. Okay. You want to make sure all that's off for sure. the customer. Sure, okay. And uh, what we do, we do 20 cases at oh, a time. Listen to that. And what we'll do, we prep these tables out, right. lay them in a row, Okay. and we do our dry rub ribs first. Dry rub. All right, so how do you dry rub a, a rack of uh, ribs here? All right, we use a blend of spices that we mix up ourselves. Okay, can you tell me what's in it? Uh, you got a little bit of spice and <laughs> cayenne like, pepper and <laughs> Al's over there going, no. coarse brown, and okay. that's you know, All not right. a big detail I'll go into. Sure enough. So go ahead and you grab your little, and you kind of coat it a little bit. Right, okay. This is something you can do at home if you're going to do that with a family and you bring the kids in and be a little messy. All right, so I'm going to coat them. All right, and then as you, as really just rub them in. You just kind of work it in. All right. How many racks of, ram, of ribs do you go through like in a day here at Sheely's during a week? 380, close to 400, a little over 400. Good golly. All right, that's racked in. we got about 30 seconds left here, so we can. Right. Now we're going to do cheek. All right. We do the same thing. We'll get back to the chicken in a couple of minutes, actually, because there's a lot to do there. So we're going to continue on here at Sheely's Barbecue. This is wrapped, rubbed in. This is good stuff. Listen. Oh, this is going out. You might be eating this today when you come to Sheely's in Batesburg. Leesville, guys, we are live and local in your town at Sheely's Barbecue. This is awesome. Do you like this? I'm telling you, I'm going to wear this on my date tonight. Stay with us. We're coming back. TK Kaminer at Sheely's Barbecue. Guys, this Food Friday today is in Batesburg, Leesville. You want to guess where? I'll give you two seconds. One, two, Sheely's Barbecue in Pittsburgh, Leesville. How about that? Here's for the best darn barbecue, at least this side, this side of Lexington, or maybe the world, right? Maybe. TK Kaminer, you used to know him probably as Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Seriously, you look just like Larry the Cable Guy. Are you really Larry? That's what I, I wish I could know. get the benefits and the pay that he gets. And the jet ski he rides on that TV there commercial. I'm doing investigative journalism right here, guys. <laughs> How long have you worked here at Sheely's? I've been here uh, about a little over 30 years. Oh I started gosh. when I was 16. We just met uh, one of the waitresses inside, been here 30 years. It's something that it's said, especially in the food service industry, when folks stick around this long, because food service by generate, you know, by, just by nature churns people. And when you've got guys in the kitchen, the back end, the front of the house, waitresses and, and wait staff, been here 10, 15, 20, 30 years, that says a lot for the company too. We strive to, to do the best quality of food and stuff. Right. And I don't think you could alternate cooks and stuff and sure. still have the same quality. You wouldn't have the same thing. I mean, I'm glad to give you time for your movie schedule when you're shooting Larry the Cable Guy stuff. All right, TK Kaminer. So we're going to go ahead and prep some of the chicken because chicken and ribs and all this stuff we're going to look at today. So what, are, what kind of chicken is this? If I'm going to go buy this at, you know, at my local sort of Publix or Walmart, what do I look for in a chicken? This, this is about a two and a quarter pound bird. Okay. Um, and all we do is split it. Okay, so this thing just, just split in half. Yeah, it's just split in half. Okay, so you kind of like that. All right, I got you. All right, good enough. Okay, so we're going right. to go ahead and rub this down. We're going to go ahead and lay this out on the table. All right. And Hello, this, dear. This, this here's a little different spice than uh, we did our rub ribs. Okay, you can't tell me what's in here either, can you? No. I mean, uh, I could, but I'd have to bash in the heater. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go bash our seven viewers, too, by the way. All right, good. Okay, take this right in here. Yep. You just kind of flick it in there. All right. All right, now get in there and massage that. All right, here you go, honey. Put it like, a, like, I'm, like I'm washing myself in the shower. It's kind of underneath my arm and stuff. There you go. go. 
All right, just like that. Get it in there coated good. Now, is this, is this your recipe or is this like uh, Mama Sheila's recipe from back in the day? Did you put this together? Well, it was kind of a conglomerate of, you know, Tommy's and right. Miss Sarah's over the years. Okay. All right, there we go. But And we like to do it the night before. Okay. Well, let it soak in and sit in there. Okay, sure. In. Fair enough. Fair enough. But like I say, we'll do smoked chicken. All right. And uh, a lot of caterings. Sure. Qualify, they want the smoked chicken instead of the fried. Well, I know that's hard to believe, but. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. So you've got this, you've got this, on this two and a half pound bird, essentially, right in mm -hmm. half. How long might I cook this for? Because cooking uh, chicken to temperature is so important. So how long would I cook this for, just so I get an idea on time? Three and a half to four hours at 250. Wow. Should, um, and, it's, and the slow cook is actually going to keep the juice in and just keep it really fresh and good. Yes. And oh, that is awesome. The way we do it, it, it bastes itself. And right. Beautiful. Guys, we're talking about the uh, secrets to Sheely's chicken and barbecue and ribs. We're going to see what it feels like and tastes like when it comes out of the oven in a few minutes, guys. We're going to continue on in Batesburg, Leesville, as Good Day Columbia is your town. The whole team's down here having a good time today at, uh, at Sheely's Barbecue. Of course, a poultry festival happening this weekend in Batesburg, Leesville. Stay with us. We're coming back. Guys, we are live and local this morning, of course, in your town, Batesburg, Leesville, as the entire GDC cast is down here a lot of us you know i guess not the entire thing we're down and learning about batesburg leesville the poultry festival and of course on a food friday brought to you by u.s food chef store we cannot come to batesburg leesville without seeing leo the cable guy here aka tk Kaminer. get and her done Shirley. do it again get her done i knew it <laughs> Sheely's barbecue so we have rubbed our butts we've rubbed our chicken ribs what do we got in here we got ribs and chicken in here ready to come out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get you a sample. All right, TK, when you're going to do this at home, or what are you guys doing? How long do you cook these things for? These here, three and a half, four hours. Okay. Um, it and, varies. And this is a smoker. How hot are you running this smoker? This smoker's right at 250. 250, so it's a slow cook. It's not a, I, when I get home and I crank that up and put like 450 times yeah. in, I'm thinking like it's an electric microwave, you know? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Just rotator around. Um, a little light on the chicken there, TK. I'm just saying there, there ain't a lot of food. I've already been in here already. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Here they come around. Guys, this smells so darn good, though. Oh, here they come. Look at this. That was like the rack of ribs that we went ahead and put the, uh, the uh, dust on a little while ago. That yep. was really good. And I see that, and the ribs coming, and I see some chicken. There it is. Boy, this is really good. How many of these do you think you go through in a day? These here, like 380 racks. 380 racks in a day. In a day. Good gracious almighty Joe Friday. And then when 4th of July comes around, multiply that by two. Are you serious? That much? Gosh darn. All right, so here's the chickens. Here's some ribs. Go ahead and let's yank these things off and give these a try. All right. Is there a proper etiquette for eating ribs? Or is it just kind of you rack them and eat them and it's well, right off? Well, a, a lot of people try to be proper. Right. And pull it off with a fork. Heck with that, nah. All right, toss me some ribs on there. Give me, give me some ribs. Let's bring this on over. Got about a minute left. So here we go. Come on. How do we do this? Oh, toss that one on. There we go. All right. All right. Usually, for the customer, yep. we'll go ahead and take the leg off. Okay. And then we'll cut the thigh off. Right. And then we'll decorate the pan. You're like a doctor, man. You like know exactly where all the pieces they are. Right, a little precision. I'm just going to reach in there and try some of this. Ooh, try your, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is 250 degrees is what that is. We may have to wait a minute. Try, I'll try it. Okay, here we go. Risking a sure burning. Oh, that's good. Oh. I'm going to give you a, a good little slither all right. of meat off the rib. Guys, I want you, do want you to see the slow cooking. If you can do it at home or here at Sheely's. Look how juicy that is. I mean, it really is soft. I mean, it's really hot. <laughs> and, and your smoke kind of gives it a pink flavor. Right. A lot of northerners think, oh, that chicken's not done. But this chicken, the, the smoke gives it a pink. <laughs> Them Yankees is what he's saying. <laughs> right. Guys, we're going to continue on. Oh, look but at see, this. See, you got a good smoke ring on that one there. Look at that right there, guys. That is amazing. Hang on. Wow. That is really, really good. TK Thanks, Cameron sir. here at Sheely's Barbecue on a Food Friday. We're going to continue live at local Batesburg. Leesville is where we are today. We're going to get going. We're actually going to go ahead and pull some butts off, too, and get some real good barbecue going on here at Sheely's. This is amazing. It's soft and tasty. And some chicken. Woo! It's a poultry festival, right? You know what they say? Here's my poultry. Stay with us. We're coming back. Wow, that is good. Some might call it maybe just a light snack. Others call it hundreds of pounds of butt. 
here at Chili's Barbecue as we do the In Your Town series live and local in Batesburg, Leesville. Of course, you have to have a food Friday at Chili's. Chili's actually been around for over 40 years. Not only a great place to eat, but also a huge employer in the area. Over 100 people work at Chili's Barbecue, including our team over here with David. Uh, you went and poured the mustard for me, David. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to get you set up oh, here. Oh, good gracious now. David Kaminer. So what's going on now? These guys are getting the meat off the air, and you're pouring, what is this, so I assume it's this mustard is what base, we call right? a, a mustard base. Okay. It's the base sauce. All right. We stir it in. <laughs> now, this is a little different than I might do at home with a little pot. Oh, you take a yeah. Plate we take and a big plate with all your hands, right? Yep. All right. Oh, good gosh. Look at this, guys. Talk about playing with your food. Our Food Friday yeah. segment is brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. Can I play? What do I need to do? All right. Just take it and stare it up. Ain't that a huge stare? It's good. Go right ahead. Right. Have to see it. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Playing with your food at its finest. How much of this meat do you produce in, in like, say, a week or a day? How many times do you do this? We do this uh, twice a week. Sometimes we have done it three to four times a week. Oh Counts on how many caters we got, goodness. how big they are. This last week we done it four times. Oh my gosh, you know what? You guys, you guys are all big and tough too, because this meat is pretty heavy. Well, it's got weighed down pretty good. Eh? <laughs> what Those white this? trays there are whole about 65, 70 pounds. What is the secret to a great big stack of barbecue? How do you make this the perfect taste and flavor? I just keep working at it. You keep working? How long have you worked here? I've been here about nine years. About nine years? Good gosh. So now what kind of uh, what kind of barbecue do you do? You've got the mustard base. Do you do the vinegar, vinegar we base? We do the vinegar pepper also. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's basically the same thing, you know, too. And then they do that smoked beef out there and stuff. Right. You got a red sauce on it. So show me the secret how to break this up here. He's, he's over here doing this. All so. right, just all you do is uh, take the excess. What we do, we get the bone out plus the excess fat. Right. And stuff like that. And anything else we don't like the looks of, we get it up, throw it away. Right, and that gets out so that actually the meat at last is really good. Yep, the meat at last. And, and boy, this stuff really just comes right off the bone. Yep, that's what we get. so it. nice. I mean, look at this. Good gracious. So you're doing this a few times a week, so every time you eat it, it's good and fresh, and that's probably a good thing about it, too. Why mm -hmm. it's so darn good to taste? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, Quite it. sure. Mm -mm. What is the best part of a, of a butt? What is the best part of a meat? Well, it of, yeah, some people like different types, different mm -hmm. types of the meat. Now, right now, I was considered that 12. Very good there on the outside. Some people like, you know, even some people, I had some said, wish we'd... Right. Make that outside a little bit darker. Right, and, no, like eat, that. and eat that skin outside. Oh, yeah, like eat the outside where it was hard. <laughs> Guys, look at this. How about some uh, some barbecue? You thirsty? You you hungry? You like the mustard base? Here it is, right here, guys. Ah, yes. It is a food Friday at uh, at Chili's Barbecue. Do not miss the buffet. How many items are on that buffet? Like a hundred million? How many things are on that buffet Good in there? God, I, I, it's whole hey. A mess of you a mess of stuff. You name it, they keep putting it out there. We can get <laughs> it going. Mess a mess of it, you can Good say. gracious. David Cameron is one of the uh, the team here at Sheely's Barbecue. Get away from barbecue. This place is super yummy. You cannot come to Batesburg, Leesville, and not come to Sheely's Barbecue. It's got a great history. We're going to learn about the history of Sheely's Barbecue here in just a little bit. We're going to get out the way because I'm just kind of in the way of this great Why big stack you? of orange meat. I guess, no, that's not true. I guess they're going to put me to work today. Yeah, we can put you to work. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, stay with us. We yeah, are yeah. live and local here at Sheely's Barbecue. Guys, we've been live and local all morning long at Sheely's Barbecue in Batesburg, Leesville, as we are in your town this morning. The GDC team here getting ready for the Poultry Fest and just finding out all the very cool things that they are to uh, see and do and, in fact, taste in Batesburg, Leesville. Sheely's Barbecue, the home of barbecue, I guess it's fair to say. Al Zimmer, you must have hated that name growing up because you were the last for everything. Absolutely. Well, now you're first in barbecue. How about that? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, 45 years, is that about right? That's exactly right. We've been here 45 years. Uh, we've Come with a lot of tradition, and right. uh, like we were talking earlier, a lot of it has to do with our great associates that work sure, here. Sure, sure. I mean, you know, continuity is everything. And uh, you, you've got you've got wait staff that's been here for thirty years. You've got you know we met with TK, uh, TK who's been here for thirty years as a cook. You don't have that in food service. I think that speaks volumes for the food, but also for the whole family and the way that, that works down here at Sheely's. Exactly. I mean, the, the owner, Tommy Sheely, takes care of his employees. Our right. Employees love working for him. It's, it's a great you know establishment, a great environment. And, you know, our customer base always comes back. The customers know the, the waitresses. I mean, it's just a great environment right. to, you know, be part of and, and to watch it on a daily basis. Now, we were down here a while ago with a Food Friday, and there's like a process when you come into Sheely's, right? I and mean, you guys got it down. You walk in. Tell me about that real quick. The, we have, called the corral. The corral. All right, go right. ahead. We, we get them in this door, and we've got a corral in there, and it's just to keep it all organized. It's like herding cats, right? Exactly. <laughs> you, you, it's exactly what it is. But it keeps it organized and makes right. it go a lot quicker. So you go in, and then it's like pretty much all you I love the sign. It says, take all you want, but eat all you take. Right, exactly. We want everyone to get their money's worth. Eat all you want. We just don't want anyone to go home hungry. Tell you what, my daddy though, I'm not gonna lie, we used to go to Ponderosa up in Vermont, 
and he would bring a plastic Ziploc bag and he'd be like chicken wing. Do not try that at Sheely's because because <laughs> Al here will tackle you. In fact, I was gonna try to stick it in my man bag, my man purse last time I was here, and he said, Tyler, come on back for a second. I, it have, was, I uh, have seen it. It, was not it pretty, does happen. <laughs> what is the the very best thing, to, according to you anyway, on that that buffet? Because there's like a hundred items there. What's right, your I, I'm, I'm a barbecue man. I mean, right. I love the barbecue. Even being from Ohio, right? I, I love the barbecue. One of the uh, things a lot of people like here is what we call the pulley bones. The pulley bones? The pulley bones. Pulley bones. Those? And just being from the north to make it easy so people understand it. He's gonna, it's, he's gonna it's, speak slow it, for me. Yeah, I'm exactly. Not. So it's it's the wishbone. <laughs> okay, I think you know the wishbone yeah, you break. Okay, well it's yeah. the meat around the wishbone. It's white meat. Right, right. It's great, yes, yeah, fries. So it's called the pulley. Pulley, bone. pulley bone. Pulley. So, oh, it's, a, it's fabulous. People people come here and they just love it. I mean, that's one of the, the hot items here is the pulley bones. Sheely's here on a Food Fridays. We're live and local in your town in Batesburg, Leesville, the Poultry Fest starting out today. We're coming to check it out. Our Food Friday segment is brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store. Thank you for that. And I am full of chicken and ribs and everything else we've had this morning at Sheely's Barbecue. Al, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Put me in a wheelbarrow, put me in the Foxmobile and get out of here. Stay with us, guys. We're going to continue on in Batesburg, Leesville, live and local till 9 o'clock on Good Day Columbia.